we're going to talk about how to delete other storage on your iPhone. When I say other storage, I'm relating to uh, in the settings, it does break down all the categories and there's an area that says other storage. And a lot of people have a problem deleting this because they're just not sure exactly what it is. In this video, I'm going to go over and tell you exactly what it is and exactly how to get rid of it. There are some other videos out like this and I've watched them and they have given some decent ways to go through and remove them, but I don't think they completely understand what everything is. So that's why I wanted to do this video and break it down a little more. Welcome everybody, I'm Kevin with HelpfulTutorials.net. If you like tips, tricks, and tutorials, do me a favor, smack that subscribe. We would love to have you here. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right in, and I'm sure you've watched a few of these videos already. So let's go ahead and show you exactly how to get this fixed. First, we want to go to where the issue is so we can have a better idea. We're going to go ahead and choose settings. And we are looking for general. And then iPhone storage. So now it's going to break down what your storage looks like. For me, I do not have a lot of other data because I know exactly what it is and I get rid of it a lot of times, but I'm still going to have some and some's okay. It's not the end of the world to have this. It's not a bad thing. So let's first start by talking about what is other data. Other data can be a few things. Other data can be system updates that are waiting to install, or it could be information that the apps have collected that needs. So let's first start with the update information. If you haven't updated your iPhone in a while, simply updating your iPhone can take care of this. So to do that, you just go back into general, go to software update and look to see if there's a software update. I actually have one myself, which I wasn't aware. <laughs> this must have just come out. So all you do is choose download and install. It will go through and install it. So sometimes it may just say install. What that means is it already downloaded the update and it's waiting there for you, which is currently some of that other storage that you have. Since mine says download and install, I probably don't have it downloaded yet, but like I said, sometimes it does go through and download it automatically. So that's why mine's not showing. But what you want to do is go here, update your phone, go back, check again, see where you're at. So say that's not it. You still have a problem. Well, there's going to be videos that tell you to go through and clear cache of your internet browser. Yes, that does work. That does help, but it depends on how much you have. You're probably not going to clear out gigs. You're probably just going to clear out a tiny little bit with your web browser. Still, it's a good thing to do. Look at which web browser you have. If you're using Safari, feel free to go through and do that. If you're using Chrome or Brave, you have to go into those apps specifically and clear those web browsers. So for me, I do mainly use Safari and then I use Brave as well. So I would just go back out of here, scroll down to Safari and choose it. Simply scroll down to see clear history and website data and go ahead and tap on that. Now I'm not going to do that because I currently want all my data and I have probably a thousand web pages open. Okay, maybe not a thousand, but a lot. So I don't want to do that for myself because sometimes that may close your browsers. So keep that in mind. That's going to clear some of the memory that of, of things that have been happening recently. It's not going to delete anything. You can still go to those websites, but it may close websites if you have them open. So let's go back. We'll go back to general and iPhone storage. So this is the part that people get a little confused on offloading unused apps. Yes, you can offload unused apps, but you're not really deleting the cache unless it's kind of stuck being open, which shouldn't happen if you're restarting your phone every once in a while. Let's go through and show you what I'm talking about. Let's go to GarageBand. I'll go ahead and choose that. I made a video on this and I haven't used it yet. So it's saying app size. That's your app storage. That's what app size is. Now documents and data, that there is the other storage. Other storage is classified as documents and data. So with that said, do we want to delete this? Well, if I'm not going to use GarageBand anymore, it doesn't really matter. But if I have stuff inside GarageBand that I want to keep, 
like this ringtone I made if I ever want to edit it, then I should go through and do it. Some people say just offload the app. Well, yeah, that's going to clear up your app size of your 1.58 gigs until you need to use it. And then when you try to use it again, you're going to have to re-download it and you're still going to have the same size. Now, sometimes when you delete apps, it will say, do you want to delete the cache? If you say yes, that's going to slim down your other storage. But with that in mind, that's also going to have the app not keep information on you, which could be important depending on what it is. For example, certain settings you set up within the app could be in documents and data. And for example, this ringtone, if I ever want to modify this, if I would delete that, that would be a problem. But I don't think I'm ever going to need that again. So I can go in here and choose delete app and go ahead and choose delete. And it's going through and deleting. So when I completely delete the app, that is going to go through and remove the cache and the app. Like I said, sometimes it'll ask you, sometimes it won't. So if you're going to go through and enable offload unused apps, as it says right here, it's going to save that information. So by offloading them, all you're doing is getting yourself temporary storage. You're not actually deleting the cache. And all you have to do is find the app below, select it, and it'll tell you the documents and data size. See, this one's almost a gig. So that's a lot of information stored on the phone. We can go out. We can check Fortnite. That is most of the stuff is documents and data. So I wouldn't want to touch this one though because you can no longer download that. <laughs> so that gives you an idea, Audible. If I go in here, I got 2.2 gigs of documents and data. Those are my audiobooks. The app size is small because that's just the app. But the documents and data that is where the information stored and that is what other storage is so yeah if you delete your phone and you uh, restore it you may go through and lower that but i i really don't think it's worth it because most of that stuff will be saved and come back through icloud i think the only way to truly do it is to delete the app but you may lose part of your information that you've had saved so I know this gets a little confusing. I hope I explained it well. I know I've explained it a few times just to try to make it easier. But that will go through and cut down your other storage. You can go through and use iCloud to back up information. You get so many gigs and then after that you have to pay for 50 gigs, 99 cents. I think that's well worth it. That's completely up to you what you think. But those are just some ideas. And you also do have your storage on your phone. They are getting larger, but if you have an older phone, I'm sure you're probably strapped for space. Once you get into the size that I'm at, it's not too easy to hit those limits. But with the older phones, I could definitely see it. Or if you just went with a model with a smaller drive. So I hope this helped and you're able to get it under control. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll do the best to explain it for you. And I want to thank you so much for the view.